Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Lana here. Welcome to Care Thrive Legacy Family. In that order. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Saturday night, the night for caregivers, caregiving families. And I am just so excited to be here. Remember, this is a live chat, so feel free to tell me your comments. We're talking tonight. Well, it's night for me, so good morning, good evening, good night, depending on where you are. Welcome back. And if you have not met before, I am specialist gerontologist, Dr. Lana, here on the channel for caregivers with a little twist, because there is no care without the caregiver, true, but there's also a caregiver takes care of a family and Everyone should be involved because it can't just be one person. So we are here to put on everybody's oxygen mask first. So remember, your oxygen mask as caregiver, yes, has to be on first. A super cape, though, needs to come off a little bit so that the entire family gets involved. Bring the children. Have the whole family in it because it is not one to be missed. It is an opportunity for everyone to understand and to see and to feel the joy and responsibility of caregiving, but with fun and a smile because that's me, fun and a smile. So why am I all, all this, all this, all this do up, do up, as we say in my country? Well, I went outdoors. Can you believe that? I went outdoors. And... That's the whole topic of today's discussion, the benefits. Why do we need to go outside? Why do we need to go outdoors? Why? Ugh, what's the point? It's tiring. You got to drive there. You got to deal with things. It's hot. What is it? It was it was warm today. It's summertime. And the Caribbean trust, and believe when it's always summer, when it is extra summertime, it is extra hot. I'm not particularly one to get hot, but... I feel it today. I don't know why. Meanwhile, this is tea because no matter how hot I am, I love my tea. What's in your cuppa? So let's chat, shall we? Let's get right into it. So remember to this bring a friend, bring the family. Hope you're all watching. It's a joy to have you. And we're going to talk about five benefits. Because, you know, after five, the brain just goes like, all right, stop. And, and you don't really take any more, <laughs> literally, any more in after that. So I thought, well, hmm, since I went outdoors, it was really nice. Caregiving has to be something. Well, in caregiving, the caregiver, what's the one thing you can do? What's the one thing you want to do? I know, it's sleep, right? What's the one thing in caregiving families you seem to never have enough of? It's time, yeah. However, when you can't sleep all the time, hmm, boy, you can't, but no, it's not healthy. And you can't, and being indoors has been shown to have so many health detriments. I think I would, it's not really like a nice word to say, but it is true. It's, have, it's the health detriment, it's detrimental to our health to be indoors all the time. For those of you who would have been on tight lockdown for COVID-19, even though there is getting outdoors, we still have to encourage persons to kind of get back outdoors because there is still, the, you know, the virus is still there. There are lots of viruses there. There is a change in the world in the way in which we do business, in the way in which we do our lives. We're no longer as outdoors as we were before. And if you're in a country like like in the Caribbean here in Barbados, and yes, there's no where it's really like strict lockdown and mask on everywhere, trying to last protocols. And, and that's true for everybody's safety. And we do have safety measures. And we're not doing it wild and recklessly. But have we really gotten outdoors as much? I haven't. I, you know, even though we're indoors as first responders, we still, yeah, we didn't go outside. And I must say, I haven't really been outside. A lot of my colleagues and a lot of older persons and a lot of caregivers have not been outdoors. 
And we're seeing that in, in frailty and muscle weakness and weight gain and increase in high blood pressures and other illnesses and depression and uh, negative thoughts, eye strain, blurriness. I mean, deafness, dental problems, because we haven't been outdoors doing anything. Now, how does that relate? How, what can we do then? So I just mentioned a whole bunch of negative stuff. So let's go with the positive. And we're just going to do five. And I found this really awesome site called, what do you know, Prevention. And I'll leave the link down, down below. It's very wonderful um, uh, writer, Ashley Martins, and she's in Chicago. And I really like her her presentation. And I just thought, you know, cover a little bit of what she's done. I mean, none, none of it is rocket science, but we do need reminders. We do benefit from reminders. So ready? Ready with a cuppa? Everybody sitting? Everybody watching? Here we go. Benefits of exercise, we're only doing five. And you tell me, what, what's your favorite? I'll tell you my favorite at the end. Okay, so one of the biggest things, can you believe, is better sleep. Better sleep. Who would have thought being outdoors? Sleep better? Why? Well... If you go outdoors more, as I said, you have to travel there, you have to make the plans, you have to get your things done. If it's an event you're going to, you're doing that. If it's the, the play park you're taking the children to, if you're taking your older per your the if you're the person you're taking care of is an older person, you want them outdoors, you gotta take them safely, yes. But you go to the park, but you know it's an excursion almost to get out the door. So that process alone will take some of your mental energy, takes physical energy as well. So it's planning. All of that is energy that you're you're expending to first of all decide where to go and go where to and then go and then do what you have to do. If you're in the Caribbean and can be in the at the beach. I did that last week as well. Like for the first time in a long, long time. So don't think I've been like beach jumping. Boy would I love it. Hmm. But anyway, it was so great. And if you can get that done. So why is it that you can get better sleep if you go outdoors? Well, how, how? So the findings from this study was, and it's from Stanford, it's where she's quoting. The more time you spend outdoors, especially for males, and guess what? For people over 65, would you believe? What, or no matter whatever age, do you know when children go outdoors and you, they've got their run around and their run around? When they get home, they're like, oh, and they're gone, and you're like, yay, so let me wear them out again. Same with yourselves, ourselves, and it's, and same with older persons, because especially if you're getting out after a long time of being indoors, because our life is indoors, face it. You're indoors to take care. You're indoors in the office. You're indoors in a, well, um, in the lunchroom. You're indoors in any place you're not indoors. I'm indoors, and I'm talking about outdoors, but it's night, so I think I get away. I'm not going outside with any mosquitoes. I already got better than we want today, and the joys of being in the great outdoors, yes. But generally speaking, we're indoors for everything, and that's not what we really should be doing. So the older, even for persons over 65, for all of us, you get out there, you're expending energy, you're having the sunlight. Of course, even if you went in the dead of winter, I'm not certain that would be possible. So for those of you in temperate countries, you know what? It's summertime. So no excuses. Well, if you're in Australia, it's winter. Hmm. But find something else. It, it'll still be great to go outside, I'm sure. Just look outside. Even if you look outside and see the snowfall. Or just step outside and in, in, your, in, your, in your covers. And uh, covers and um, step out in the snow, or just feel a snowfall, or just smell the fresh air. Outdoors do wonders, because it, it kind of gives you those good hormones, which then they, they actually regulate your hormones. And this is from other information I, I've read. So it regulates your hormones, regulates the good hormones, your energy is expended, and by the time you get home, 
you're going to rest. Oh, who doesn't love that? Ooh, la, la. I love that. So better sleep. Woohoo. What's another one? So that's number one. I'm thinking number one, and we can start, right? So number one, better sleep. What's the number two? The big talking point now, mental health. Whew. I'm doing an actual course on mental health right now. And seeing so many mental health issues with, I mean, us all from whatever age. It just, it just seems like everybody's a little more angry. And, the, and, and, and there is change from the pandemic, true. Because that indoorsy thing just ain't good. You're smelling the same air all over again. Everybody's smelling the same air. It sounds gross, right? It is. So if you go outside, you're not re-smelling our own air to make it blunt. Smelling, hopefully, fresher. You can hang outside. You're going to see... Like, as my mother would say, people. <laughs> I look just like you. If she's hearing this, she's going to be like, you see what I told you? Mother's always right. Not always. But anyway. So you go outside, you see others. And even if you're not with a bunch of people, just seeing other people outdoors gives that sense of community. And it actually makes you feel better. So you feel as though you're not all alone in what? in your life. You're not all alone in your struggles. You see, like someone I saw today, an old family, oh, family friend of my parents and other family friends and even someone who were, who who's uh, in a corporate sector and she recognized me and we're like, what? And you just see her like once a month. But it was like, hi. You know, you're seeing people, you get into associate. That's great for your mental health. It's also the green space while the trees are where well, this not this one, obviously. Well, then the tree balls, not a real tree, but the real trees are outside. I've always said if I could grow a tree in my house, I would. Mm -hmm. Because the benefit from trees is just is you know beyond beyond the the oxygen they give off, we give them, they give back. You know, nature, creation, design, oh beautiful. What they give off, we breathe in. And that actually lowers the risk of depression and improves our stress recovery. And so being in nature, being outdoors, seeing others, being outside, increasing our attention because you're going, you're going to be seeing so many different things. You already know your four walls. I already know all these walls. I think I've counted everything. They're, I've counted every single um, wood laugh in, in, my, in my rafters. I literally have. I know how much there are, how many there are. As long as I can't count them over, it would be really boring. But it'll say you're looking at everything. If you're at the sea, you're looking at all the sand, the waves, the, the sky. There's so many things to invoke your senses. Summertime, you're smelling the roses. You're looking at others. You're engaging in conversation. You're focusing on something. You're doing what you love. You're doing it with people. And you're doing it with your family. Or you may even need some quiet time to do it. Outdoors. <sighs> smell the fresh air, breathe some oxygen, improve your mental health. Mm -hmm. Trust, it works. Even for just a few minutes. What about the actual, so that's number two. What about, we just talked about community, connection and community. So we're going to rope that in as, yeah, as a separate one. So that's number three, connection and community. we just been outdoors. Talk about interact with friends and family. Talk about interacting and just seeing someplace else besides where you are. Beautiful backdrop. Have your social gathering. If it's still in a low, you still feel a little uncertain in going out, or you're uncertain to bring your um, um, the person you're taking care of. Maybe they can't leave the house. It's true. So, but it's not only just the caregiver, but you want to involve the family. So, if everyone can't be outdoors. Can they go in the patio? Can they go on the porch? Can they look outside? Can they? You can. Can you actually bring a plant in? Can you open a window and let fresh air come in? Can you circulate that? Little things like that. Can you bring in a, a rose or a flower every day for them to 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 gaze at? Because just that it brings the outdoors indoors. Do you have a little kitchen garden? That can be a great thing. So that's another way of being outdoors-ish if you can't do the whole thing. But connection, community, 
you know, bringing the outdoors in. Oi, oi, oi. What about the next thing? Vitamin D levels. Hey, hey. You know, no amount of sun, how much sunshine you think can get in a house unless you have your roof is open, which don't make no sense, right? Because there's not only sun, there'll be rain and snow and sleet and hail and bugs. And so let's stop there. So you go outdoors, you get your vitamin D levels increased. And believe you me, the vitamin D levels of persons measured, well, that I've seen and that have been researched around the world, those have lowered many, many, many patients. The, the increase in the need, or should I say, the decrease in vitamin D has seemed to escalate because we're indoors. The sun shines. The sun shines every day. Even, well, except for those who have six months of darkness and six months of sunshine. So, but you can also use light, even if you go outside, you can have artificial light. So we're not technically talking about all the integrity. I know there's always a little something that, but I can't, but because I, but I can't. So if you, but there is always an option. If you don't get vitamin D from the sun, we're talking about going outdoors. But if you are the vitamin D depleted, you may need a supplement. Talk to your doctor about that. Remember always. But the vitamin D from the sun, mm, 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 nothing to it. Do you have plant a plant garden? Same kitchen garden. Can you get involved in that? If you're not a plant person, can you, what else can you do? Just, I mean, go outside and, and have a walk in the daytime. Not when it's too hot, obviously, morning time. Can you have a walk in the evening time after work? Can your loved one take a few steps with you? Or can you engage them in a, in some form of exercise when you when you come home in the same patio outside where they can get some sun. If they have to be wheeled out, no problem. In the sun, not in the heat, heat, heat of the sun. Be very careful with older persons, um, especially with the with the sun, because if it's very hot, then you have to stay indoors. But we're not talking about the very hot. We're talking about just being outdoors, getting sunshine, your doctor will tell you, check with your doctor what's a good um, amount of sunshine for you. Generally, we say maybe 10 or 15 minutes, even as little as that. Suggest from the Harvard Center, Harvard Health reports that the protective effects, it's reading it here, from cancer to depression to heart attacks to strokes, protects. And by just going outside and getting the vitamin D, a no-brainer. All right, remember though, if you're going outside, no matter what melanin type you, you know, whatever cover you have, whatever the color outside is yours, please remember whether you've got lovely melanin or you've got little melanin, which is the brownness in our skin, you still need to wear proper sunscreen to protect against harmful UV rays from the sun. But the sun, sunlight from the sun, can't beat it. And it doesn't, and it makes you feel better. And come into that, so that's number four, vitamin D. So we got, we got sleep, we got mental health, we got community, we got vitamin D. Hey, we got vitamins, woo! Number five. And I'm gonna, this one is, is this one obvious? Hmm, I was wondering, should I, <laughs> what should I take about this one? I thought, hmm, yeah. It might sound like obvious, but when you're outdoors, you, and we mentioned cycling, we mentioned walking, we mentioned all of that, but the physical activity that would be, hmm, the bat, that, that's great. What was happening about physical activity and being outdoors, even if you, Cycle. You can indoor cycle through. You can indoor walk through. But when you get outside, it actually entices you to do more physical activity. So you see others walking and running. It actually makes you want to do a little more. You see others maybe doing something different and hiking. I'm not really a hiker. My friends will tell you, get Lana on a hike is like, you know, mm -mm. 
I might do it once a year just because I love my friends. But apart from that, I'm like, no. But I'm learning. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a few more, uh, a hike or two. So if you're listening, I'm going to do a hike or two. Don't hold me to it. I'm not promising. But hikes are really great because there's the adventure of it. I must say, it was the adventure too. You slipped on some rocks. You didn't know what you were stepping in. You had to move branches. <laughs> Uh, what else happened? I slid on on marl, on, on blue stones. Oh, boy. Test your physical fitness for sure. And it puts you in a higher level of fitness. And you know what? And you slept better. You sleep better that night. And you were with family. So it was like an all-in-one. Woohoo! So we got five. The five benefits of being outdoors. Did you get them all? So one would be sleep. Two would be community, three, physical exercise, four, mental health benefits, five, vitamin D. And I'm not putting them in any order because I don't want you to like, you know, just remember, you can go back over this video and tell a friend, come and go outside with me, come and go outside, come and go outside. It's summer, come and go outside. We've got time, we've got space, we've got sun. Let's go outside. So which of those five is your favorite? I'll tell you mine. My favorite one, and surprise, surprise, uh, I thought it was going to be sleep, but you know what? It was actually the, hmm, I'm still trying to decide, but I think, I no, after today, it's about, I'm going to think about this one, I just want to be really, really straight and say, is this the real one I want and that I like the best? I'm going to say the physical activity, the the enticement to more physical activity, the adventure that comes with outside with physical with doing more. So I love to do the weights. I love to walk indoors. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not a psych, cyclist. I don't really cycle. Um, I talk. I can cycle, but my preference is walking. Um, the adventure of hiking. Okay. But the fact that it actually makes you want to do more, it includes you can bring on a friend. So that's the community. You get the sunlight and that's the vitamin D levels. You, the mental health, because you're with someone, you can chat while you're doing it. You get fun. If you fall, there's someone to pick you up, like literally and physically, you know what I'm saying? So I think for me, that is such an all round package. The benefits of being more physically active and how that makes you want to do more and engage more, that will be my favorite. And it's also my uh, a lesson. It will be like, um, like, a, like a little prod, a little reminder. So which one is yours? Um, mine is, I think, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get out. Can you get out some more? Will you? I hope you do. And if you do, remember to take water, right? You can't take tea on a hike. You can't take tea when you're riding. Make sure you have your water uh, to rehydrate, obviously, because it's hot days. Trust me, it's hot days. So get outdoors. See your friends. Do something new. It's summer. Summer 2023 will never come again. Make it work make it work for you make it healthy make it happy take your family along have fun from me to you from dr lana to you from my heart to yours have a fantastic one and what do you plan to do next time what are you going to do this week to get outdoors mm -hmm. what am i going to do this week to get outdoors again Ooh, tomorrow I think I'm going on a, on a, on a health something. But I'm going to make sure I walk around the, the area we have. Provided it doesn't rain. Don't want to get wet. So take care. This has been fantastic. If you liked it and you found it, you can call a friend, tell a friend, spread the news, like, subscribe, press the notification bell for more, and I'll be back next week with some more tips for our family so care happy care healthy morning evening night to you from my heart to yours Mwah. and bye-bye